Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with MDJ2K7. And we are going to open up the big MRE that we got from foreignmre.com. Can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome. It's huge. Let's That's check big. it out. All right. Well, this thing is absolutely massive. It's got to be about three pounds. Um, looks like it does have a resealable end down here. So I'm going to try and see if for once in my life, I can open something up without the need of a pocket knife. So far, so good. What do you think is going to be in here, son? Food. Hey, you're probably right. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to have to use a knife. I can't do it. Ziploc baggies, man. Those things should, uh, you know, they're, they're masterful. They're, they're just the worst. All right, here it comes. Got a cardboard box inside. And it's not wet. <laughs> yep, it is not wet. That is a good sign. Let's Does see. it smell? Aha. Let me flip it over. Smells like cardboard box. Yay! That's pretty exciting. Oh man, that is a lot. Looks like we've got some sugar, and it is fresh as can be. Ooh. Some more sugar. Some more sugar. We've got some sort of, I'm not quite sure. It feels like jelly. It's got a nice little bunny rabbit on the front. One of these days, I'm gonna bring my phone in and use my translator app, but not today. I want this all to be a shock. Let's see here. This feels like moist towelettes, so I'll put those in my TP hole. Some sort of spread for a cracker. Looks like a white spread. I don't know, maybe it's some sort of yogurt. 17. It's fresh. Mm, it's got a picture of a cow, so maybe this one's beef. Got plenty of uh, tea. Ooh. Coffee. I will do, I'll have this this morning. Got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, we're not going to save this through the course of the day. We're going to eat this all right now, and we're going to share it with the rest of the family. So it's not like we're going to just hork out right here. But we're kind of going to hork out right here. Om nom nom. Got another uh, fuel tablet stove. I'm going to save that because we can't wait to use that this summer. Let's see. Uh, looks like a vegetable medley. I'm not sure what that says. We can go camping and use MREs. Got another tin with a cow on the front. It smells like pepper. So maybe there's a pepper thing in here that uh, busted. Hmm. Some sort of chocolate bar. What is this? Oh, water purification tablets. That's cool. I assume that's what that is. It would make sense. Oh, here's the pepper. Let's see, salt, and that one would be pepper. Got some matches. I'm gonna put these in the TP hole too. We have a full hole. Got another tin here. Another tin. Looks like uh, none of them are the same, so that's good. Three packs of crackers, four packs of crackers, and powdered juice. All right, let's get this out onto the tray in a way that we can open it. So here we go. We're going to call this one breakfast. Like I said, I've got no idea what any of this stuff is, so we'll open it up and who knows, is this going to be a good breakfast or not? Start off with our drinks. I'll get my coffee pouch ready. You can use that for yours. Here you go. I get the juice. Yum. It's got a red package, so hopefully it's a uh, raspberry. Can you... Pass me the white spoon for this one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and use the spoons that came with. That is a rich chocolate. Not a not a rich chocolate. That is a rich coffee color. It's having some trouble dissolving. Was I supposed to use a coffee strainer? <laughs> Time for the sip. Ooh. 
That's nice. That's really dark roast. I like that a lot. I think this is ready. Mm. That's pretty good coffee. So if you can find that in the stores, which you probably can't, that's pretty good. I liked it. What do you think of the drink? Really good. It smells like raspberry. It is raspberry. It's so sweet. Yeah, that is very, very sweet raspberry. Mmm. Very good. Oh, that's really good. Let's open this thing up. Got some beef in here. Could be at least. And I'm thinking we're probably going to heat this stuff up. Because that's a lot of congealed fat on top. But take a look at that. Looks pretty good. What do we have in this little pack? Come on, I know your vegetables. Reveal your secrets. Oh, weird. Ooh. Got some liquid oozing out. Juicing everywhere. Take a peek there. Oh, I'm just going to let it drip everywhere. Vegetable mix. Got some carrots, potatoes, looks like some onions. You know what? I'm in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's take a bite. Oh, that is really good. Wow. Not at all what I was expecting. It's like a relish. It's good. But cold. I'm going to take this into the kitchen. We're going to heat it up on the stove. And I'll get back to you in just a moment. All right. We got it all heated up. It smells pretty darn good. This right here is definitely what we had in the last MRE that we had uh, busted. The smell is very similar, except, of course, this doesn't smell bad. We went ahead and finished this thing off. I shared it with everybody in the family, and it was all pretty much enjoyed. So I got everything heated up. <clears throat> so I've got everything over there heated up, and we're just going to try it all. You ready for this, son? Yeah. Get your little spork. Man, this stuff smells great when it's fresh. That's a very interesting texture. Not exactly what I was expecting. The flavor's pretty good. I think I'd like to eat that on a cracker. It's very much like a regular old, I don't know, a, a sirloin steak, I guess. It's got little bits of potatoes in there. Kind of looks like some onion, maybe. The consistency of it is very strange. I wasn't wasn't prepared for that. Mmm. Oh, that is really good on a cracker. Wow. That was really difficult bite there. Yeah, these are some stout crackers. Very thick. They smell good. They don't smell like the ones from the rotten package. I like this. All right, what should we do next, son? Yeah. Chocolate bar. Guess we're going to clean our palates first. Is it a chocolate bar? It is not. It's a fruit bar. Ugh. Smells, smells figgy. Very rubbery. Mm-hmm. Of this, I am not a fan. It's not bad, but after having such a savory... Couple of bites of beef. This just doesn't do it for me. I'm not a I don't like that. Yeah. Ugh. Tastes like prunes. It does. It tastes a lot like prunes. Yeah, that's exactly what that tastes like. I guess we'll go to the restroom later, huh? Okay. Next item. We'll go for one of the small tins this time. Ooh, very pretty. Here's what it says on the front of it. If you can make it out, maybe let me know. You'll probably know it before I do. Come on. Almost. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is that uh, puree stuff from last time. Maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, I have a feeling this was not meant to be heated up, but we did it anyways. That is a meat pate. It's definitely some sort of meat. Get in on this, son. Okay. There you go. Looks like a slug sitting on a cracker. Looks like refried beans. It's 
pretty good. It tastes like deviled ham. I just think it tastes like beans. I like it a lot. I'm gonna save that for later. Time for a big one. That's what it says on the outside. Now this is like a stew of some sort. I am gonna go straight for this big old hunk right here in the back. See something looks like green peas in there. Got some roast of some sort, beef likely. Got onions. Oh, it smells wonderful. Try and get some myself. <laughs> the smell's a little bit misleading. I don't much care for this. I don't like it as much as I like the stuff we had a second ago. It's not bad by any means. It's pretty good, but it's definitely not as tasty as the other. I think it's the green peas. They kind of ruin it for me. I love peas, not those peas. Beef is a little better than the beef in that one. You think so? Yeah. Why don't you get that big old lump of fat there? This lump that I can't seem to get on my spoon. So it's got some carrots in there. I mean, it's a pretty decent flavor. Definitely don't want to finish it off. I'm going to pass this off on somebody else. But it's not bad. Beef stew. One thing I didn't open up earlier was this. I'm hoping it's a jelly. It'd be kind of weird if it wasn't. Because I'm going to smother my cracker with this. Looks like jelly. It looks like jelly. Let's see what kind of jelly it be. Doesn't really have a discernible odor. Didn't have any pictures. But judging by the color, I'd say this is probably apple butter. Or not. It's hard to say. You can go either way on this. This could be apple or it could be peach. Give it back, son. I want a little more of this. That is good. So far, I've been really impressed with everything. It's fresh. All right, the next small one. This is one I thought might be a yogurt type thing. I really, uh, really hope heating it up was okay. Nope. I don't think heating it up was a good idea. Well, I don't know. It's cheese. What are you doing? It's cheese. Get out of here. Now that is some cheese right there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's not too rich. It's not sharp. I could eat this by itself. Like I did already. I wouldn't mind having this on, like, some nachos. This would be some pretty decent nacho, nacho oh. cheese. It's a little bit similar to that uh, Baby Bell cheese you get in the little round uh, wheels. Okay, last bite. It's cheese-tacular. Wonderful. Thumbs up. All right, our last tin from the container. Another type of stew. Maybe. I don't know, that's kind of odd looking. Got a big old hunk of meat with some fat on it. Tastes very porky. Might just be a big old hunk of pork. I don't know, it's hard to say. You can scoop any of it up. It's very oily. Oh. Oh my, that really is just oil. It's pretty tasty. It's really drippy. Yeah, that's a that's way too oily for my taste. I mean like, wow, that's oily oily. Is there anything else stuck down here in the bottom? No, it's literally just a hunk of meat. The little bits that are getting on the cold tray are immediately congealing. That's not bad. I mean, out of all three, that's my least favorite for sure. I agree. All right, official verdict on these items here. The little soup one that we had at the very beginning was amazing. It was like a, a vegetable relish. It was absolutely great. There was like a lot of pop to the vegetables. The carrots in it were fantastic. I think that was probably my favorite out of the little tins. What was your favorite out of the little tins? The cheese, definitely. That cheese is pretty darn tasty. Wow. How about the big ones? What's your favorite? Probably that stew over there. The stew? Yeah. Really, I think I this right here was definitely my favorite. It had the 
the strangest texture. It did. It had a very weird texture. texture. Yeah, so how about this? Uh, what do you think of this uh, paste? Meat paste. That was good. It is pretty tasty. Look at that. Let's go refrigerate it. Try it when it's cold. No, I think uh, we're going to take this tray out there to the front room. And we're going to snack on this as a family. Nope. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. A brand new Russian MRE. Everything in it was really tasty. We definitely had our favorites. I had my least favorite right here. And that was not the best. I had my most favorite right here. But altogether, awesome. This I can see surviving off of this for quite a while. Nothing in here was inedible. Nothing in here was gross. But there were some things that were much tastier than others. That's that's for sure. Yeah. The fruit bar? Meh. Pass. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed watching us eat this brand new MRE that came to us courtesy of one of our subscribers, Marilyn Skull, uh, give us a like and subscribe and check out her channel because I just sent her some stuff and who knows, maybe she'll make an MRE too. Bye. Yeah, I don't... It was, it tasted good, but the texture, that So you're going to say texture. that a few more times, huh? Yeah. Just the same sentence over and over? <laughs> it, yeah, it had a really strange texture. So how about this?